Okay, guys, I have um, an update to share with you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay, guys, um, this is a follow-up of uh, my previous video that I updated you about the committee, the recommendation of committee uh, chaired by Lawal to decide on Tenebo's running mate, okay? And I also updated you that Shetima was not included among those names so i'm going to give you the 10 names of people that were shortlisted and recommended by um uh the committee okay you know the tinibu did the same thing atiku abubaka did when the committee suggested that um atiku abubaka should um, choose wiki as his running mate but atiku abubaka had to settle for ifani okowa and ever since tinibu uh, settled for shetima there has been an outcry within some section of nigerians all right, that it shouldn't be a Muslim Muslim ticket. The same thing they preach in uh, 2015 um, is not being practiced in 2023. And then um, we saw a lot of APC members uh, withdrawing their support for Tinibu. It all started with Elisha Bo, that is an Adama one, not senator. And then um, it also boiled down to um, Amechi's um, ally. Uh, former aspirant in APC in River State, okay, also withdrawing his support. Okay, that one quit APC because of this Muslim Muslim uh, ticket and APC in Christian. Christian in APC also said they will not support Tinibu because of the Muslim Muslim uh, ticket. Those some um, uh, APC chieftain supporters like Ojuz or Kalu, um, this man, Joey Bokwe, supported the uh, Muslim Muslim ticket. I don't know. Maybe that one is their own personal interest, but that is by the way. So the update I have for you, um, the 10 person that were submitted by uh, the committee, even Shetima's name was not even uh, on the list of those 10 person uh, that was shortlisted by the committee. So uh, the source said that the report, the finalized report uh, came on Tuesday. That is uh, July 5th and presented before Bolatinibu, before Lawal in London the following day. But I really don't know why Tinibu uh, decided to, you know, make his own choice, not from the recommendation of the uh, the panel. I really don't know his uh, reason, if it's personal interest or whatsoever, okay? So let me quickly give you the name of the 10 person that was uh, shortlisted and recommended for Tinibu, okay? So the first person is Yakubu Dogora, uh, that is former Speaker of the House of uh, Representative. Well, I remember when the um, Yakubu defected to uh, APC, uh, many people already saw the handwriting on the wall that uh, maybe uh, Yakubu had been promised a running mate for Tinibu, so he was being forced to defect to APC, okay? So that is a mere speculation because anybody that defect to any political party of their interest, okay, is their own personal decision. So I don't want to talk about that. So the second person is um, Amina J. Mohammed. Uh, that is Deputy Secretary General of the United Nation. All right, she's a lady. So another, the third person is Ambassador Fatima Bala. The fourth person was Senator Anthony. Manzo. The fifth person was um, Hajiya uh, Najatu Mohammed. Uh, the sixth person was Senator Aliyu Magatakada Wamaku. And the seventh person was Babagana Zulum, that is a um, Bono State Governor. And the eighth person was um, Nasa Erufai, Kaduna, Kaduna State Governor. And then the Matiku Bagudu, Kebi State Governor. And, uh, and also uh, Kashim Imam. So those were the 10 persons that were shortlisted and uh, recommended to Tinibu. Well, Tinibu didn't pick any of them, but rather had to settle for Shetima. So nobody knows uh, what actually happened. But however, I quickly want to update you on the names of the 10 persons that were shortlisted by the panel to Tinibu. But why did Tinibu decide on Shetima is a question everybody should be asking. However, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. See you in another update. And make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of updates to share with you. See you guys.